We don't have any bad news to report. Everything is still good. We'll talk to people here in a minute. Uh, just some, a few updates. We did get, uh, thanks to the kids and some of the teachers in the school district, we did get the uh, pamphlets or the maps put out yesterday to notify people of, of if there may be con need to be concerned uh, or not. That's all been done. The polls have been marked. I know there's a little bit of confusion with that. What we did was where we couldn't reach some of them and had some guys, some of our guys come back and paint a mark higher. We're going to, uh, you may see a, an X and a, and a number by it, and that was to tell the guy you need to go up nine feet above this X, and that's where you put the mark. We're going to go back and eliminate the bottom mark so there's absolutely no confusion at all of where the mark actually is. It's it's uh, where we had to go up the pole with an extension ladder. We had the surveyor go around and, and mark what he could reach, and then uh, put, put the mark. Any confusion there will take care of here real shortly, but uh, everything should be marked. Um, there was a little bit of confusion, I believe, maybe on a St. Mary's Road with some of the markings. Some people were concerned that we're in the 93 flood, that the markings were a lot higher than what the water level was actually on the St. Mary's Road. And Vern just confirmed to me that the water level on the St. Mary's Road in 93 truly wasn't the height of the river in 93 because of the draft of the river, the way it actually flooded, right? Well, in 93, it broke about three miles downstream, and there was always a foot and a half or two feet less water against the marina road back then than it was. So when it did fail on the Valley Spring Branch, that's the level we got from the downriver. So, so uh, it is a little higher on St. Mary's Road than it was in. It will be higher. It would be if it failed. But I feel really good about that. Um, other than that, Felix, start with you. Anything? Uh, if you if you go out, you will notice that the, the levee is the water. The big field is starting to backfill in us. Uh, so we should be seeing water sometime, probably late today or tomorrow, in, in the area between around the marina. The water backing up into there. It's filling in pretty quick. It's actually got a reverse current down at St. Mary's. They're drawing water away from St. Mary's right now. So they, they lost over a foot of water in St. Mary's last night. So pulling away from them, that it's a temporary until the water fills and it's going to start, you know, going back again. Uh, we got the pump in on, and it looked like it drew quite a bit of water away from Washington Street last night. Thank so you. So it should be, you know, thank Steve for getting the pump. Uh, so that should be, I drove through Third Street this morning, so you can, have, you know, you can get all through. I wouldn't, don't recommend it yet because there's still water around there. So, but it's both off of Third Street. And it should be off of Washington, I think, by the, by the end of the day. Uh, we have uh, sandbag operations. The sand it should be delivering at at VFW and at, at the old Rosier building now. There's also a sandbag operation starting up down at Lloyd's. They, they pulled some sand out of the sand pile down on the big field. And they gave us permission to go down and start sandbagging down there. So they we're moving sandbags. It's open to anybody to come and get them that, that wants them. So there's three op three places you can get sandbag now. Uh, the Lloyd is kind of out of the way. You have to go through M Road to Bourbon Road to get to it. But that's where they brought their sand out and dumped it. So that's where we have to. Go. <coughs> but there is a, there is a, there should be a load at the vet's hall and behind the road you're building now. Are they at Lloyd's? Are they actually needing? They don't is, need is it. Need the farmer farm? don't need any. Okay. When I talked to Chris this morning, the farmer don't need any bags right right now. They have no use for them. But so Chris said, just go get what we want. We do have another location, but we're going to hold that and get it. It would be, it would affect the work on the levees right now if we move it to the other other pile. Okay. So those three locations are open to the public right now. Uh, we did meet the Coast Guard came through this morning to offer their help if they need it. Uh, Gary showed Stoster showed them around a little bit, so uh, they're familiar. We can call them and they're on standby to come in if we need them. Uh, 
from National Guard? And we have contacted National Guard. This, they've been activated. They, that, yeah, this matter, it, you know, if we need them, we put in the request. And they have taken, since Region C has been uh, impacted so hard, which is our region that we work under, under, under the state, they, they assign an additional resource to us. Derek Loner was our resource. He's taking care of the north half, and they took the guy out of Region B and sent him to us. So we do have, they, there is additional help in the region for the state now, too. So. Well, the river's right now at about 44 feet. Uh, we're expecting about, well, that'll be another 6.9. And uh, six point seven, but our we Tom is Tom over here. Did he make it in? Yeah, he's over in the club. Um, he's been doing a lot of work the last two days, and and uh, we're we're really doing fine. You want to make a few comments, Tom? And I'll. Well, I can. We have three point four seven feet of free board over the ninety three flood to the top of the gates. No, that's okay. probably as good a reference as that. Yeah, and and uh, we've we've hauled and uh, filled all any low spots on the north end. They moved to the south end this morning. We're going to put about a foot of rock on it, and uh, and then probably later today or tomorrow we're going to address some of the under some of the uh, seeps under the well a little more than the seep under the gates, but we're going to move some equipment in and probably need a. Uh, Few thousand sandbags there, and we're going to slow the water down and, and uh, on the two railroads at the north end and the one at the south end. Uh, by this evening, we expect to have pump number three available if we need it. We've been pumping this whole event with two pumps. Uh, it's worked fine. Uh, we we're lucky we didn't get more local rain, but we had plenty to start with. But. Uh, uh, and another little simple thing is all our trucks and heavy traffic on the levee, there are very, very few soft spots. It's, it's awesome. minor. So I really feel everything is tight and I feel good about it. So that, that will come a time when you pump down enough, you're going to probably we're, quit so you keep enough water We're going to leave a pool. We'll probably get it off of Washington Street or where they can travel through Washington Street two <coughs> inches or something. But uh, I want to keep the pool there for the help on sandball prevention. And uh, the good thing, the, 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 the levee I know is tight. Uh, the, the, if it stayed there a month, that levee would be very saturated. This is going to be a quick event. And uh, that, that would be a yeah, matter of fact, the river of Kansas City is below flood stadium now, several feet. So. One thing I did forget, Dick, is that uh, the amateur radio club will start patrolling the levee at around noon. And if anybody wants to volunteer to walk the levee, they're doing it in four-hour shifts, minimum of two people. Uh, Sandra's going to put out a note on Facebook, or you can go up to the house in the park. That's where they're going to set up their command centers. They will be in radio com communications at all times. <coughs> they'll, be working, they'll be operating out of the house up in the park. So if anybody wants to volunteer to walk the levee, he said he's a few few people shy right now of covering 24 hours. Okay. Anybody else? Any? Any? Uh, what's uh, What's the latest from the Cleeds and their plants? Um, after this meeting. Okay. They're going to meet after this meeting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And will we release any? That seems to be the biggest. Uh, concern of most of the citizens is that going to happen or not so after that meeting we probably need to release Sandra something to say okay this is where we're at you know, it may not have be an answer but it will at least let people know you know the conversation is taking place right okay questions of anybody any story on the gas meter well, that's, 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 that was after the meeting after the meeting <laughs> Yes. Okay. Uh, later, Debra, do you know if they've marked anything right down here as far as water they, level? 
If it's not, if you, if you, if your house, if the, if the street is above 398, they didn't mark it. Well, the street, the street is, yeah, back the, you're talking oh, on the back, back end. I'm on the back end, back up to the Gabbard Creek. And that's what I'm concerned about. Uh, but, uh, uh, we'll have to get somebody down there to do it. We'll get it. We haven't done. We appreciate it. We only, the only thing they did was streets. Okay. But I'm, I'm yeah, we actually done. marked everything out. I mean, they actually marked uh, down by the trust line oh, coming up, but uh, right over here was uh, right level with the bridge, so. Uh, we didn't even, Doug said it with no sense going that way. But he, because well, of his back of his house, the back of his house, we didn't go behind people's house. Yeah. We'll see what we can get. Okay. Get that done. Uh, Do you know if anybody else around that area might need it? Um, the, uh, well, the every, the boss, every house goes through there. Yeah. Yeah. She's actually below, below my level, I believe. Uh, we'll and then the Bader house next to it. Oh, yeah. So there's two houses right there. While we're there, we'll, we'll put a few marks right through there. Those three, those, those few houses. Yeah. Bernie, uh, you mentioned that you may do, or there may be some work needed at the top of the gate. Is that still? No. Nope. Uh, there, it's about nine foot two to the top from the, this wall ago, about nine foot two to the top the gates, and we're getting a, a little over six foot <coughs> water coming in. So feeling feeling okay. We could put, put some there if we need to. We'll monitor that more tomorrow or next. Time. Okay. Well, here again, just contact citizens because there is a line crossing at the gate there at the north end, yeah. um, and there won't be as much clearance there. I don't think is what was down. There. We won't be doing the uh, main street cross uh, gate. We'll be doing just the two railroad. We're, we're clear there, so that's perfect. Thank and you. the railroad that <laughs> Yeah, we're good there too. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Sorry if I missed it, but where are we at now? Forty predicted forty nine point what? Seven. Seven. So <laughs> forty four. Really. Yeah. Huh? We're right at forty four now. Yeah. <laughs> the only issue I got right now is that it looked like the gauge might have broke. Right. The gauge so what? The gauge might have broke down there. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. I got I got a call I got an email into the National Weather Service trying to figure out what's going on, but there's a gap right now. It that doesn't affect the river. It doesn't affect the river. <laughs> 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 well, that's all you have to do. We get we, we may have to. Well, I'm getting that we may have to we do it that manually, long. so it may take. I won't be getting the hourly updates. So. What's the last well, one I just update? gave you is man. Last one I got is 423. <laughs> is the last one I got. And that was the that was the. What's the time? Like? Yeah, I think that's 10:30. I think that's right. Didn't you say we had a gauge burning? Yeah, we got a gauge outside. Of, there, we got two or three. They're going in the pump station up on the wall. Well, anyway, we got. If this is just a computer. The PC right. down there. That's the only thing that doesn't correlate, and it didn't yesterday. And, and yeah. it's been down before that. They got it going. Oh, well, we have. It's telling yeah. us something, but it's not telling us. True, we, we, got a, right. we got a sea level level stick too that we could, but we just have to calculate all of that. So we can get the measurements. So just this thing don't come start. Well, wait a minute. I think it just started working again. Never mind. There it is. Yeah. It started working. It's closed the gap off. So it actually updated. We now it's 48.5. It's 48.5 for press. Oh, it just new, updated. New fork, new crest. Yeah, I did it right in front of my face here. So we're down a foot. That's correct. Top two ten. Forty. Is that forty nine? Is that forty? Looks like forty. Forty eight. Looks like forty eight. Forty eight five. Forty eight five. Yeah. Forty eight five. To me, that's the curve. Yeah, I think that might have been from the formula. Yeah. With that line going through there. Yeah. That's right. Don, if you had. If if we need to get out, like, are they gonna like the city attorney sound the sirens or whatever they are they gonna do and stuff? And it'll be a because you can't understand the talking that they. Yeah, you'll you'll, you'll definitely hear the siren and then the voice, but along with that, we'll certainly have the police department going around with sirens and 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 speakers and and every we'll make it very well known if we gotta get out of a hurry. Right. And the farmers levy did it breach yesterday. Right. They, they lowered it. Purposely, they lowered it. Okay. They lowered it so it would come in on the bottom side, and it's filling up now. So. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you. 
there, there's a lot of rumors going around that we're blowing levees. Maybe someone can clarify that and where that spot is and how far away from town that is and how that affects us here in town. Hmm? I don't know where they're blowing levees. They're not, they're not blowing levees, right? Well, no, nobody blowing levees. Nobody right. from the state notified me that they're blowing any levees. Any, the only levee that's been intentionally breached is what we call the Mitchell Island levee, which is south on 61, and that's what the farmers levee. They're backfilling the big field. Okay. No other levee, to my knowledge, down here had been breached. Yeah. I knew the river was going to top, top it anyway. So rather than letting that happen, they are letting the water in purposely from the south to save the, the, the levee. They're, protect, they're protecting the levee instead of protecting the farmland, what basically what they're doing. And another thing, on this levees breaking, they don't just break without, like you go past it and have, two minutes later it broke behind you. That doesn't happen like that. There are plenty of warnings. It's, it starts seeping and it would be slow. We would have, we would know when we're in trouble before, long before it breaks. And I feel good. We don't have any unusual seep. The dewatering wells are working good, but there's warning. We'll know when we're in trouble, and we'll be. We, in '93, we used three different color coats. We went from yellow to pink to red or something, and we had dangerous rib uh, balls that we marked and coated, and we don't have any of that at this point in time. We've got a very good levy, very well engineered levy. And if it, it, like we talked the other day that always the first predictions are what, we, what it could get to or what it's probably going to get to, but it absorbs and fills and seeps and we don't get no more rain and, and it, the early predictions are generally higher than what it actually does and if it lowered it a foot, that's wonderful news. That's what we was hoping to start with. Uh, it, it won't just all of a sudden two minutes be gone. You know, in two minutes we know it all of a sudden it's breaking. It's going to be ours because there'll be there's cracks. It don't just it don't just fall over and water comes in. It, it, there's many a ton of stuff to move before it can even get through. So and it starts moving at a spoonful at a time. Felix, would you agree? It looks like the crest moved to Saturday. Yeah, it moved to Saturday. I was just about ready to say that. It looked like it moved till Saturday. Well, it'd be, be late Friday here. And it and it truly, you are the 40, is it 48? Yeah, we've I verified on a different screen. 48, it's 48 so it's, got, it's it's down a foot two tenths from right. what we thought 10 minutes ago. Yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised if they don't know it again tomorrow. So that's great. that's great news. Yeah. Yes. Yes. If, if, like you're saying, you would know pretty far in advance if you were having a problem with the levy. And at what point do you let the, let us know that? As soon as we, we, that's why we're setting up the 24-hour patrols right now. Mm -hmm. If those guys notify me they see an issue, Bernie and I or and the mayor, whoever, will go inspect it. And if we think there's an issue, we'll issue it right then. So how do you let us know then? Is that what you're saying? The so police and the sirens and everything? Gonna, that's what you would notify we're us? We're going to do everything in our power to get the, to get the word. I mean, we had the news reports. You know, this guy is here. So we would get, know it before it broke. We would get a warning yeah. that it, it's a possibility. Yes. Okay. You're going to get the sooner you, you will know within a half hour and a half we know. Okay. It's going to take that long for us to check it out. All right. And it won't, it won't be that quick that it goes either. Right. It, no matter what. Even the farmers levy, they started filling it yesterday. <coughs> it's still about, by this evening, there'll probably be about 10 feet of water against our south levy. There's none against it yet this morning. And it's, it's raining in so fast that it water lowered at St. Mary's. The volume of water is amazing. What's here? Yeah. If you look, just for information, if you look on YouTube, they actually have a video of that where they breach it at down there. I don't, don't ask me how to get to it, but I'm not a YouTube person. But uh, <laughs> point. But it is on there. It was shot, shot by a video yesterday, by a drone, by a drone yesterday. So it's on. If you want to see how much water is coming over that thing, that's where it is. Anybody? Yes. I have two, two things that uh, I think a lot of us are concerned about is the electric and the gas. Um, number one, uh, where are citizens and where do they stand on this? And is there a 
uh, a power grid that they can actually um, shut down in the event that that would shut down uh, or that levy would breach or, or, or break? Um, uh, or are they going to have to do this individually each house, which would mean that many, many folks could be without power? And of course, uh, and then my same, the other question is on the gas side, is there not a main power, uh, gas grid that goes into the downtown area that could be um, <clears throat> used in the event uh, that this would happen instead of shutting off houses prematurely, which with this temperature, um, you know, could, could cause a lot of, a lot of great potential for problems. Ronnie, you want to address it? I'll let you. Sure. As far as Citizens Electric, so we've got uh, several different scenarios in place, switching scenarios in place, depending upon the the how how quickly things would fill and where the break would be. So uh, our plan, based on what we know today, is to keep the main feeders energized, and uh, this new crest helps that. Um, but but then we would. As I said, depending upon where it fills and how fast, there may be taps off the main line that we do have to de energize. So we, we intend to minimize the amount of folks that we put out power, but it just kind of depends. But, but we have different, uh, several scenarios and switching procedures in place to accommodate those scenarios. Is, is that a quick process or is that a, um, you know, is that throwing the switch from a substation type situation? It'll be or? switching in the field for the most part. Okay. And I guess your definition of quick, um, you know, it, it can happen uh, probably within 30 minutes. It yeah. could take an hour in some other scenarios, but, but I'll assure you we'll be there. Okay. Did, does that answer your question? That helps. Okay. That helps. John, you want to try to a brief explanation of how the gas I know you guys are having works. your meeting afterwards, but I, I think there's a lot of concerning people. Let's, um, we, we need to keep our gas mains uh, full and packed so we can't very well turn our mains off at set locations and then run those empty and infected areas because then we get water and then ultimately ice in the system and that not only affects the affected area but it affects the non-affected areas as well. Okay. So that's why we have to keep our mains charged. So when we do these things, which we're doing on all over Eastern Missouri right now, mm -hmm. we're going to shut them off all the time. Okay. So, we'll be perfect. <coughs> perfect. Okay. Hey, anybody else? In the absence of any devastating news on the crest to follow, how many more of these meetings are we anticipating posting? I think, for right now, I certainly count on tomorrow. Um, yeah, until, yeah, probably till it crests, I would think, Eric. But uh, I mean, that, that's that's great news. It's gone down over a foot, so that takes a whole lot of pressure off, I would think. That's a correct. Did they change the yeah, crest date yeah. because of that? <coughs> Pardon? Did they change the crest date since it's went down a foot in two? Yeah, they moved it to Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. So. It was, we were looking at tomorrow night or Friday morning, right? right. And so now we're put off at of Probably Friday night, Saturday morning, somewhere in there. <coughs> okay. Hey, if there's not anything else, thank you all, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow if you're... Thank you. Thank you.